right guys, we got another ballistics test here for you today. Uh, what we have is the Remington Golden Saber. This is the 124 grain plus P version of this round. Uh, this should uh, this is one of uh, Remington's premium offerings, and so I decided to do a little test of, on it here. Now we've done this a test on this in the in the past using uh, just water jugs and four layers of denim, but today we're going to shoot it through a hogshead to see uh, to simulate real real world testing of bone and tissue. Now I know that uh, the late Boy Scout. Um, over him, on his channel carries this load and so this is kind of a video uh, for him and for those of you that carry it or are considering carrying the uh, Remington Golden Saber. So, Alright guys, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take the shot and we'll see how she performs. All right, guys. We got a uh, capture here. Uh, this is the um, pen the uh, entrance wound for the Remington Golden Saber. And then, if we flip the hog over here, you can see the exit right there into the soft palate. Hopefully, you can see that. Let me turn it around and get some let's get some sun onto it. Uh, there it is, right there inside of the cavity, as you can see. And uh, I can see clear through it. I don't know if you guys can on camera or not. Uh, it is kind of a bright day. I'm doing this on by, all by myself, so let's go ahead and uh, get my light out here and I'll shine right onto it. Okay. There it is, guys, right through the pallet on it. Can you see that? That is a massive hole straight through that skull and uh, definitely some major devastation. Now, we went through, there's our first jug. Uh, so we had clean penetration all the way through the first jug. And then we had, that's the entrance into the second jug. And then I thought I had missed the round. I thought, oh no, it had exited and I didn't uh, didn't see it. But it's still in there. Um, so it tried to penetrate all the way through. It didn't, it failed to exit. And so let's go ahead and pour it out and we'll see what she looks like. Now this is a non-bonded bullet. Um, this is the non-bonded version of the Golden Saber. But um, I have a feeling that's gonna stay together. Oh, well. I'm wrong. <laughs> Shoot. All right, well, there it is, guys. We've got nothing but jacket left over. So the uh, core is on its way somewhere. Um, this was this was the jug behind it, and uh, it's not in there, and it didn't, uh, didn't even leave a mark. So, all right, cool, guys. <laughs> so I did a little bit of looking around by the base because this jug was sitting directly behind the second jug, and there's not a single mark on it. And so I couldn't see how I'd actually I'd actually gotten away, but I did a little looking, and sure enough, there it is. There is the core of it. It was just laying right next to it. It was laying right down here like that, in the in the, on the ground there. So, all right. So there it is, guys. There is your Remington Golden Saber. We had uh, jacket core separation, but we had pretty good expansion on that lead core. And uh, two full jugs of penetration, and uh, we had two layers of bone. We had the hard palate and the frontal bone that went through on the on the hog. So um, I'm calling that a win, but let's go ahead and go back and run some numbers for it. Between the range and home, I actually lost a piece of the jacket that was attached, and I did recover it. Uh, so um, the retained weight will be actually a little bit more than what is shown here. Here's the measurement on the lead core, 0 0.488.5. And then the widest point on the, uh, on the jacket here is 0 0.546 on the widest point there. The chronograph reading that we got off this load was 1,181 feet per second. Uh, that's a pretty fast clip, um, especially for a 124 grain bullet. This is the plus P loading, so you will see velocities like that. Uh, but uh, that being said, the uh, the recoil of this round was very, very manageable. Uh, now we did have that chunk of the uh, jacket uh, come apart there or come off between the time I left the the, the shooting range uh, by the time I got home I don't know where that that uh, piece of the jacket went but it did break off so you know it, it was all pedals were retained um, when I recovered the round um, 
Now, there, did, there was jacket core separation, and uh, whether or not you think that that is a, you know, a negative, um, just kind of, you know, whatever you, whatever you kind of think. I tend to like to see the jacket retain on these, on these rounds, but this is a non-bonded bullet, and considering the damage that was, uh, that was done to that hogshead, and uh, the amount of penetration we had uh, for this round, I'm calling it a win, guys, for sure. I would like to have seen that jacket retain. I have seen it retain on other one, other other tests that I've performed, but uh, I really think that this hoghead uh, hoghead medium that we're shooting through is very hard on bullets. It's definitely pushing these rounds to their limit. Uh, but but seeing this type of expansion from from this round uh, through two layers of bone, that frontal bone and the palatine bone. Uh, it's definitely a win guys. I think that this is definitely high on my my list of carry uh, loads and I think that uh, you'd be well served with this round if you guys <laughs> there's my uh, my Jawas if you uh, are if you are considering this as a carry load I think that you'd be well served look at that large cavity guys really really huge um, and the, the bullets on these are a little bit different construction you know you can see that they're kind of more cylindrical shaped uh, with uh, very little nose, and it is you know very little uh, pinching of the nose. It's kind of cool. The you can see the cuts in the jacket, the brass jacket, right there towards the tip. Now Remington says that they use brass because it's a little bit harder uh, material than um, than uh, the copper, and so it tends to expand more controlled. So it doesn't have as much of an explosive explosive expansion, more of a controlled expansion. Um, and you know you can see from that test that uh, I'm thinking when when this round was exiting the Palatine bone it was uh, quite a quite a bit expanded at the time. So anyway, a very well crafted bullet, um, definitely ones that I'm that I'm uh, happy with. So for those of you guys that are carrying this load, uh, rejoice! I think that it's a it's a great loading, and I think that it's something that uh, that'll serve you um, if if you ever need it to. So. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, leave your comments down below. Give me your thoughts on this round. And if you carry it uh, or if you've done any testing, let me know what you guys think. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe at the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Don't forget to rate the video and uh, favorite and share the video with your friends. It helps the, uh, it helps the video, out, video out and it helps our channel grow. And as always, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. And we will catch you in the next video. See ya. Okay, now we're going to be shooting the Remington Golden Saber, and these are the uh, plus P, 124 grain plus P's, out of the Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm. We're going to go ahead and shoot these into the jugs, going through four layers of denim. So we'll see how this, uh, how this load performs. Remington.